Internet-based horror movies. Are people just convinced if they try this enough, it'll eventually not be stupid? Well, I guess that's why Smiley is here to prove that they're getting dumber. You know what watching Smiley did to me? It made me miss watching such intelligent films like Chain Letter and Fear.com.com. Intelligent by comparison. <laughs> oh, my life is sad. Smiley! No. <laughs> you know what's an amazing idea for a killer? An emoticon! Said no one ever. Oh wait, I'm sorry. The bar has been lowered for humanity once again because someone did say that'd be a good idea in a haze of drugs and alcohol. And good thing for us too, because that probably made these brainless fucks who made this think clearer. And this piece of cinematic whatever starts off by showing us just what part of anatomy its brilliance came from. Oh, and there's the rest of a person attached to it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> We're barely one minute in, you cheat pile of crap. I know I've said it before, but jump scares are only sometimes effective when done after setting a good atmosphere and done sparingly. The atmosphere of this film before its jump scare was texting and an ass. So bravo guys, maybe you caught a few people off guard. That makes a good movie, though that is probably all Smiley will be able to have as its claim to fame. Better put that on the cover. Caught a few people off guard with loud noises. Oh no, is this that site where it just chooses who you talk with? Yeah, chat roulette! Yeah, hang the chat. Right. Yeah. Seriously though, Smiley, chat roulette? You ain't really getting on the current trends, aren't you, you 2012 piece of shit? I mean, there's probably a newer version of this with that crazy thing called sound. It takes true brilliance to release something horribly dated before you've even started filming it. You really shouldn't put yourself out there like that. It's what? Think someone's gonna go smiley on me? No, I was more worried about predators and pedophiles, not the moronic plot of this movie. The urban legend. You start a video chat with somebody you don't even know, and you type in, I did it for the bulls. Three times. <laughs> go on. And then this guy, with the knife, appears behind them. And what? He wishes them a happy birthday. They die. Oh, what a twist. So, you know, it's kind of like Beetlejuice, except lame internet horror garbage. Type, I did it for the lulz three times and try to take it seriously. Can't do it? Congratulations, you have a functioning brain. Why do they call him Smiley? Because he stitched his eyes shut and carved a smile onto his face. Why'd he do that? I don't know, he was bored. How can one person, Smiley, just show up behind people all over the internet? Oh shit, must be an internet ghost. Trust me, I'm safer this way. This is <laughs> After her awkward shots babysitting job is over, we are assured that her ass still exists as she goes on the computer to shock of shocks be an idiot. So no one really intrigues her until she meets looping footage glasses man because he can do this obvious raising of his eyebrow motion three times during this scene. Well, with the threat of death from some random dude on the internet, obviously the thing to do is to see if the chat is coming from inside the house! Hello? Seems likely. Oh, and you should probably check to see if you've left your door wide open! Well, if you're that stupid, I don't think you really need to worry about magical moronic emoticons killing you. Oh, but her stupidity hasn't begun here. If you took this as a serious threat, maybe you should call someone and, oh, I don't know, log off the chat? 
Oh, I need to see where he's going with this. Oh, never mind. She's gonna attempt to emoticon kill him first. Take note that it does say that she typed it there because suddenly, oh, would you look at that? Eyebrows McGee typed it now. Kinda big fuck up there to forget who was trying to kill who. You put it right in front of her eyes that she typed it, and unless you notice it on the smaller shot when they switched it around the way they meant it, you're left wondering why the hell Emoticon Boy killed the wrong person. Must have been for the love. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time to meet the main character, Ashley, but I'll be calling her Ashhole for reasons you'll see. Anyway, it's college time for her, but instead of dorming it up, she's running a part of a house with a stranger cleverly named Proxy, cause this is an internet movie. And it obviously makes sense that Peroxide would rather enjoy the company of strangers than any of her actual friends going to the college. I have a party to get to. Hey, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to come with. Isn't it a school night? <sighs> yeah, it's college. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yes, I accept your invitation. Lovely. So has she not existed on planet Earth before this? Anyway, it's time to drop some hip references like B and 4chan. I know those, they're from the internet. I think I'm high on your marijuana. Okay, no, she's clearly an alien or a robot. I think I am high from your marijuana, which I have accepted the smoke from into my being by inhaling on this marijuana cigarette, which has been lit with fire. Well, now, what could intrigue me more than that revolutionary plot element of dumbasses partying? It's so fresh in this movie because internet. I'm guessing one of you is Proxy. Yeah, yeah. what's up? Zane? Zane. Put a cork in it, Zane! I'm used to living alone, or else I'd suggest uh, three's company kind of thing. There's plenty of room, especially in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm douchefuck number one. Try to catch us all in this movie. <laughs> wow. Cool. You enjoy the strange? Yeah, I enjoy the strange. <laughs> Did that come out right? <laughs> yeah, it's marijuana, you dumbasses. It's not like she dropped acid. Let's take acid and discuss. Oh, there we go. By the way, there's you two people in this movie. Can you catch them all? Because I'm sure as fuck not going to, because I don't give a shit. I can point out the ones that were pointed out to me, though, like Shane Dawson. He talks about Dawson's Creek on YouTube or something. <laughs> brilliant joke, I know. Anyway, Dawson didn't want to wait for the party to be over, so he gets driven off right now. What are you doing here, Petal Bear? Petal Bear! This is because he apparently reported pedophilic material, aka the opposite of Pedo Bear, but we just called him that because it's a reference you might get from the internet. Well, time for that classic party time event of seeing if you can get a magical emoticon to kill people, and from this side we can see that Glasses McLoop Brows can be looking towards the camera despite being turned away, plus somehow having his webcam off. On. Off. That's an impressive webcam. Too bad he doesn't actually have one. His image must have just been projected by the magic of emoticon killers. It's an internet miracle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one scream this movie will get, so better milk it like you've never seen someone scream before. I lied. There's more screaming in the movie. Fuck. It's not real though, right? Well, nobody knows if it's real. It's on the internet. Yes, you can't tell if anything is real or not on the internet. By the way, I don't really exist. Poof. It's like Bloody Mary, okay? It's an urban legend. You type, I did it for the lols three times across from someone you're chatting with. Ha! <laughs> yeah, still sounds stupid. I did it for the what? Lols. Laughs. I did it just... I did it just because. It's like... Do you know when you do something just because you can, or you're bored, or- Oh <laughs> yes, please explain this forever. This class is an introduction to reason 
and ethics. Oh, please. You joined the Hostile Killers Club. The fuck do you know about ethics? So let me sum up the classroom scenes right now. I'm just gonna keep blabbing on and on about something that doesn't really have to do with anything, so this movie can think it's deeper than it is, but I'm gonna talk and talk and talk with a really dull tone and go really low so you can barely hear me that louder than really quiet again. Don't I know you from Annoying Orange? Yeah, they got us YouTube people to be bit parts in this as a reason to watch it. Ha, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. There's no reason to watch this. I was wondering whether I could get all the semester's assignments early. Why, you leaving town? No, I'd just like to be really prepared. Are you hitting on me? Ha <laughs> ha, is he joking? Was he hoping because he's a creeper? I don't know, this character goes nowhere and does nothing besides boring the ever-loving shit out of me. So really, he's on par with everyone else in this film. There's a new video. There was an old video? Are those juicy booty shorts? So this is supposed to be video from the chat thingy? Yeah, why the shit does it get sound then? And is this Smiley's lazy YouTube costume? Cause he's looking pretty stripey here rather than being a face carved in with a stupid emoticon. Well, did anyone call the police? Say what? There's an internet video of some guy getting killed. Yes, it's called video evidence, you fuckwit. And if there's actually suspicion of murder, they could try to track down the IP of who uploaded it. Hi, please? Yeah, there's an internet video of some guy getting killed. Oh, no, sorry. I don't know his name, but um, he plays pranks on the internet. And there's this urban legend that says if you type, I did it for the lulz three times in a chat, this guy smiley appears behind the other person and... Well, I'm really glad you can make your movie sound moronic just by saying what it's about out loud, but none of this equals not reporting something. You could say there's an urban legend and we think someone might be trying to recreate it. Oh man, that was tough. But oh well, it's time to move these two from just being dumb and dumber to downright disgusting people as they decide the only way to know if Magic Emoticon Killer is real is to try and kill someone with it. You can't have your main character character decide to do something like this and think anyone is gonna give a shit about them afterwards. But here's my favorite part, they explain it. Someone is supposed to come and kill you. <laughs> cool, double your jump with the jump cut jump scare. No. Where did he come from? I don't know, okay, I don't know. I thought college was gonna be fun. And this was apparently part of that fun before this, so... You thought seeing someone die would be fun, or you thought saying that to them with nothing happening would be fun? Either you're a horrible person, or just a moron. Now you're both. But he saw our faces and oh my god, he and waved at us! It doesn't matter, he has no clue where we are. Well, can't argue with that logic. The supposedly magic emoticon doesn't know where you are. Unless you type lols. Tell the police what we saw. No, 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 it didn't. No, saw. No. Why not? Because if we report this, there's gonna be press. If it's real, it's gonna lead them right to us. Did the police start advertising where people who report crimes are? You two dumbasses think you just summoned him by typing leet speak garbage into a chat room. It makes no sense to act like it's a normal person. And where as Peroxide is concerned, it makes a lot of sense for her to be all lulzing about it at the party, but then all ONGing about it here, huh? This never happened. Well, luckily, our completely repugnant main character is also a moron and is convinced that makes sense. <laughs> no, she's not a jump scare, just standing there with a Sam Winchester bitch face going on. Piss off, Smiley. Now, who can tell me what we mean by the scientific method? Mark. It's like, uh, you make a... Hypothesis. No, that's true. Please, Mark, stop, stop being right so often. Give some of the other students a chance. Yes, it's true. First step in scientific method is forming a hypothesis. So, what's a hypothesis? For me, uh. It's like what you think is true. Yes. Now that we have this notion of what we think is true, what do we do next? 
So this is the point where the movie pretty much shuts down and gives us endless mumbling dialogue with varying degrees of pointlessness. It's really hard to sit through with your eyes open. What's a hypothesis? And I didn't know that learning what a hypothesis is was college class material. Now class, let's sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Smiley, such a dull movie. Why are you still watching it? It's not suddenly gonna get any better. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, and now you know what a hypothesis is. Don't forget to rate and subscribe! To what? This movie? I don't know. I'm from YouTube. More like Death Tube! <laughs> I'm not reviewing that. I think Smiley's only real when people make him real. Like, Tinkerbell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I killed someone last night. What a laugh. I think. I don't wanna Don't talk, don't talk, party! Uh... Looks like you guys were doing some pretty good partying, huh, man? Smiley goes after her, and I find her just so unlikable now, I'd really prefer she die. So of course she doesn't, then we get the fucking overdone scene of OMG, Blake Killer is after me. Ho <laughs> ho, I don't believe you. Wow, I never get tired of seeing this scene over and over and over and over, as in... Fuck it, next! Now we have shrink scenes. They go like the classroom scenes, so like this. Um, uh, mumble, mumble, I forget. Did you tell her? <gasps> no one does that. Fuck off, she has not been, nor will she ever be, scary. Uh, I'm annoying! Jump annoyance! Well, back over to Zane's to find out it's not a walk-off, he's just losing his shit and needs to awkwardly tell us he's a miracle hacker. Why would he need to tell them that? He wouldn't. I am one of a hundred or five hundred or a thousand people in the whole world who can find out anything about anyone. I mean, uh, medical records, uh, how much money, uh... Chocolate or vanilla, top or bottom. Put a cork in it, Zane. Then Ashhole goes in a room to see she's already there. But wait a second. If I'm me, then who's there? Well, if you can predict that it's gonna be her with the smiley face, congratulations! You've seen the scene in a million other films before. Give me something, one thing, just one thing interesting, Smiley, I beg of you! Alrighty, who can tell me about Occam's razor? Why, thank you, that is the complete opposite of what I asked. The twist on the boredom this time is shaky cam. Like, really shaky cam. I guess they figured this was so dull, the only way to keep you awake was to try and make you nauseous. Also, what the hell is this framing? You know it's bad when I gotta comment on that, but holy shit that shot is garbage, unless we should be paying close attention to his shoulder. Yes, yes, DIE! <laughs> Now oh, fuck off, Shane Dawson's Creek. We need to get on to how this film can raise the bar of stupidity. First, Ashhole Ditz checks behind her shoulders to make sure it's safe to go back on chat roulette. Why? I don't know. Apparently, she was hoping to run into Smiley, which luckily for the runtime, within a few clicks, she does. Yup. He just sits around in the dark waiting on chat roulette for a name banter. I should not be seeing you. Trust me, if it had ended like that, it'd be far less stupid than anything that follows. 
What are you doing? What are you doing, Miss? I like to sneak in rooms just to yell at people because I'm the greatest jump scare ever! Seriously, she's been a jump scare three times now. Smiley, you turn that smile upside down and go fuck yourself. Oh. Anyway, did you guys want to know if Desperate Douchebag Tichi and the Scarecrow have any earwax? I assume that's what we're meant to be looking for with these shots. suggested running an anti-malware program, but I guess that works too. Oh, and she got recorded. Can't wait for it to be a really big hit on YouTube. <laughs> that actually happens. I say it as a joke first time watching this, and then it actually happens. Oh, Smiley, you make all the stupidity come true. <laughs> Is she scared or about to laugh? I'd laugh than cry later that is in this movie. Well, it's gotten to the point of let's finally report this and guess who? Keith David! Second time he's played a cop in an internet killer movie. What an oddly specific strange trend. But unlike in Chain Letter, here he's playing the leader of the super incompetence police so we can have a scene of the police not believing someone trying to report a killer. What? Wow, no! I'm gonna tell you the part I'm having a hard time with. All of it. Yeah, but guess what? You still have to look into it because someone is reporting murders. Just because she's got a silly sounding tail doesn't mean someone couldn't actually be killing people. Hell, maybe she is the murderer. You know why it's illegal to report fake crimes? Because they have to check into it. Them just not would be gross negligence. You have no victim. But we do have victims. But there are no bodies. Yeah, not a discrediting factor. It's still missing people, you dumb fuck. You say you saw dead people, but you don't know who they are. This is a murder report, not a suspected green card wedding. New rule, guys. You gotta get to know someone before you can report their death. And nobody's called in about Smiley? Oh, we've had a few calls about this Smiley character. But yours is the first one that we've taken seriously enough to have this talk. Yeah, it seems like you're taking it seriously, and you've had multiple reports about this, and still, you can't be bothered. This isn't just gross negligence, it's gross incompetence. Better hope you turn into a gargoyle and fly away when Internal Affairs shows up, Captain Goliath Hole. Let me show you something. How did you get that? They got it because they uploaded it according to the YouTube editing options nicely being at the top there. Over 5 million views since yesterday. The more views we get, the more we don't have to take reports seriously. We're just gonna become YouTube stars after we get shit canned from here and maybe get bit parts and shitty horror movies after. Jump scare girl goes to her parents just so the dummy dumb girl can be left home alone! Thank god you're there. Hey, what's up? Are you okay? I can't find Zane. At your parents? Yeah, I wouldn't think. What, what, you think he's hooking up with some other slut? Or... Oh my god. Smiley? I'm gonna call cops. No. I'll go. Wait, so Ashole thinks Smiley might have killed Zane and doesn't care? Yeah, okay, that's the first sensible thing she's done. And it'll be the last, cause of course she's heading over to fuck sticks. <gasps> Lols in blood. If you can even remotely take that seriously, please just shut this video off immediately and go invest your money in Smiley 2 XD! <laughs> Yay, Zane finally put a cork in it. Hello, police! There's been another murder! We can't put murders on our YouTube channel. Call us when there's another funny freak out. Call 911! 911! No! The only police I trust are the YouTube police! But they don't help at all! Exactly! So Team Idiocy launches their most pointless plan yet. The three laws to try and get emoticon after Ashole. Oh, 
even though it apparently already is. <gasps> Smiley called in his broskies for this hit, Frowny, Pukey, Daryl, and his other brother Daryl. It's so stupid! It's glorious! Dude, that bitch went fucking splat. <laughs> yeah, I gotta Instagram that. <laughs> yeah, take a picture of yourself by the body giving thumbs up. Why not? Apparently it doesn't matter in this little universe. So yeah, everyone was in on it because they're awful shitters. What a reason. Mm-hmm. It was all a setup for her. Yeah, it's gonna cause a few holes. Our new fell and broke her neck. She's dead. Oh my god. That's awesome! Yup, even the babysitter was in on this, even though she went around scared after the death threat and heard about the smiley legend from the girl she was babysitting. This little girl, by the way, we seen during the film had posted a video about her babysitter disappearing, meaning she abandoned not only her job, but her life for this. I mean, they're all spectacular losers with the most amount of time in the world for a prank on one girl, but to disappear for weeks on the off chance the girl you babysit might say something about it is really just amazing. Then of course there's the whole chat roulette thing. It's random who you talk to, therefore there is no way they could have effectively used this in their plan because they wouldn't have been able to guarantee getting to the right person ever. Ashley even chose the person for them to try and kill on chat roulette and they had no way to even know she was going to be on it when she chatted to Smiley. So that means someone had to be sitting there day and night on the off chance she might do that. And it didn't even make sense that she did. And if we didn't have the YouTube police on the case, they'd all be getting arrested. So their plan had to count on complete bullshit and somehow predicting Ashley's every move. Like Dawson's Creek's death here. He was rigged with a squib to get shot in the chest because they had planted a gun loaded with blanks at Zane's. She didn't have to take that gun. What if she'd had access to a real one? What if she just grabbed a knife and stabbed him? Or, you know, just let him walk through the door? Been a lot of effort for nothing. It was an accident. But we're still calling it a win for Anonymous. Cause that's what Anonymous does. Uh, not sure our hacktivist branch will condone this. Okay, you know what? Fuck those guys. They don't get to say who's Anonymous and who's not. <laughs> the troll army, they don't have any command or control. I mean, they say we're off message. No, fuck them. They're off message. Oh, so they aren't anonymous, but they're just gonna say they are because bullshit bullshit. Well, why stop there? Why not make them the Illuminati? I'm sure the Illuminati wouldn't agree with this. Fuck those guys. We're the real Illuminati, and I'm the president. I'm not sure the White House would agree with this. Thanks, Obama. You know, he says I'm off message. He's off message. I'm the real president. Wow. I can't believe the President of the United States, the Illuminati, the resurrected KGB, and the UN all teamed up to make the most convoluted play in the universe to kill a random girl! They might as well have said that! For the lols. For the lols! LOL XD Raffle! We look like fucking tools! I kinda have a boner. Is that weird? Are we bad people? No, devoting all your time just to fuck with someone till you drive them to jump out a window is what good people do. And does your conscience work on a delay there, fuckwit? This is her reaction to hearing she died. She fell on her head and now she's dead. That's fantastic! Guess she meant, that's fantastically gonna make me question my life choices. Why did we do this? Good question. Might have been one to ask before you devoted weeks to it and will go to jail for if the real police show up. I know why I did it.
It's hard to drop the bar even lower after such an asinine twist. Good job, Smiley. Oh, and Corky apparently still finds it funny on the webcam, but then he's like, I did it for the OMGs! And yeah, it's not even like it's their crappy line mass. You can see it's actually this thing's head, so it's real now. <laughs> That's fantastic! Lee, going to make me question how my life has led me to this. Oh yeah, let's review stupid horror movies. Good one, Phalus. This movie is full of bland to bad acting, full of mumbly dialogue, stupid mistakes, and scenes you've seen overdone well before this. Nothing about this piece of crap can stand the test of time when it was outdated before it came out. But oh well, at least it's got two twists for the price of one, both of which make no damn sense. Why did I review this? For the lulls. For the lulls! <laughs> Typing randomly. Phalus, what did you call me? Why? Well, for the dumbest thing I've ever done. Well, motherfucker, good thing I know internet cheat codes. Typing on my keyboard. <gasps> it's so stupid! Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm the anonymous Illuminati president. I guess. I don't like this movie, it doesn't look too friendly This monster seems so fake, my nerves are gonna break Failures don't let me down, you need to be around Grab that running one up and blast that single new one This movie looks shitty Fail us, so fail us Bring a multi-comedy of fail us, so fail us And some horror movies of fail us, so fail us I don't care about how you sound of fail us, so fail us What's your opinion of Yeah, I forgot that I'm on the ground floor. Oh, shut up!